If if you were a producer back in, in let's say back in the fifties, sixties, what director would you like to see do? Um, some of your favorites in the past uh, would have done a, like a superhero film. I think your your directors that did, you know, sort of your big hero movies would be perfect choices today. Uh, the director of Shane. Mm -hmm. would be a perfect choice for a comic book movie today. It's the same kind of thing. Orson Welles at one point wanted to, to direct The Shadow huh. at one point and you know because he did the, the radio series of it. and and so that was one of his his two his two projects were The Shadow and the Jesus. Huh. I don't know he, that. he never he wanted to do Jesus kind of a, almost like a western style uh -huh. which is strange because they talk about Mel Gibson wanting to do the, do, do the book of Maccabees like a western. Yeah. But yeah. that's you know that but that, that that's where that's where what inspired me to ask the question about that you know. So um yeah, any you know, other directors you might think of during that time that m might have done a great job? Well, it would be, you know, any of them would be fun. Any of those great directors would be fun and have a different take on it. Hitchcock might be an odd choice today for some of these, but it might be interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, you know, Ang Lee was a, was a courageous choice for the Hulk, trying to figure out what's going on inside that character. Somehow it just didn't connect with an audience, but... Uh, is a courageous choice. Mm -hmm. uh, I hadn't really thought about it in that way, but I would I would think my first, if I was a studio executive, I probably would be picking those big hero movies and saying... Like a John Ford? Yeah, John Ford. Let's, let's put him on one of these comic book movies because the similarities with heroes and hero's journey mm -hmm. would be uh, would be an easy match. Well, there's also, uh, I don't know if you know this, about Frederico Fellini was originally uh, going to direct Flash Gordon. Wow. This is 1973, you know, he, uh, George Lucas wanted to direct Flash Gordon. He approached, I think Dino De Laurentiis had the rights, uh -huh. but only he found out that Fellini had Flash oh. Gordon. So he ended up uh, writing Star Wars based yeah. on that. So that's, that's the not, that strange That would have been a lot of choice. <laughs> that would have been a lot <laughs> But he, he, loved, he loved comic books. Jean-Luc Godard and yeah. loved comic books as well. And, I'm um, not as much of a film historian to give you an authoritative answer about that. Uh, but it seems like that might be an odd choice. Mm. It seems like it would be hard for a studio to cough up a hundred, two hundred million dollars to that director to make sure it's commercial and connects. Again, it's courageous in, in the choice, but you know, in, in today's model, in today's business environment, you know, there's they're always trying to find, and, and I think correctly because the stakes are so high to find commercial directors or commercial, find somebody who's on the upside of the curve, they can you know, manage and brand uh, and keep the risk low mm -hmm. on some of these things. Are there any comic book movies that you've seen that actually, the, any particular favorites that you have? I like Spider-Man. I think that origin story is always interesting of how he came to be, how he learns his powers, what's happening to his body. All of that feels very human and very natural. I like the X-Men movies, obviously. I like the old Superman movies. Mm -hmm. I think the first, the first one and a half Superman movies were terrific. Yeah, you know, and it appealed to that stuff. I like the first uh, couple Batman movies, but I think you go back and watch those now, and they're like really campy. Anyway, um, what are what are some of the things that you look at in terms of? Uh, when you're looking at a, a movie, especially, especially superhero films or, or comic book films, what are the, the kind of things that you look for? What, what resonates with you? Well, I think it's that strong hero is, you know, is certainly a, a, a powerful paradigm in our American culture for movie going. Mm -hmm. We idolize our movie heroes, from Indiana Jones to William Kirk to. You know, Luke Skywalker, those mythic heroes take on a status that is uh, compelling. Mm. They have flaws, they're not perfect, but somehow they get thrust into these extraordinary circumstances and, and do the right thing. Mm. And it's those values of what we track with them that are interesting. And uh, to me, it draws me in. I want to go be. I want to go live in that world. Mm -hmm. I want to go live with those characters because Wolverine seems to know the right thing to do at the right time. 
and when Wolverine does get into him, you know, and fights when he when he's when he's uh, clearly fighting for the right thing, you know, it's just it's sort of a release of this rage that maybe a little bit of that is inside all of us. Mm. Uh, so I, I think I think it's just interesting to watch those characters when they're when they're tender, when they're tough, uh, and and I think the best ones are ones that teach us a little bit about how to live, how do we get through this life, how do we uh, negotiate our own pathway and journey. The great heroes of the Bible, of Moses, of David, you know, they're flawed. The great heroes are flawed. They've Moses killed a guy. David killed a guy. And yet these are heroes that are held up in high regard by the Jewish tradition and the Christian tradition. Uh, maybe my, I don't know about Muslim, maybe my Muslim tradition, I don't know. Uh, and it, maybe that's why we gravitate to the dark side on a lot of our heroes, is to try to understand how they can still be a hero and yet we all have a dark side, mm -hmm. you know, is that potential within us either to be that dark or to be that hero? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's where we make that connection. Um, and, and I think there's probably a lot of, it will be interesting to see how you flesh that out in the book in terms of connections with, you know, pick three heroes out of the Old Testament, New Testament, and... Oh yeah, I actually... Uh, and then start to chart and, and align those things with Indiana Jones or whatever, and there was actually an article in, was it yesterday, it was, it was in this last week, it was in either the New York or LA Times, maybe in relation to the passion, I don't remember, but talking about Jesus as a superhero. Oh, that was actually, yeah, I actually have that article, I read that. And in Jesus for Our Times. Mm -hmm. yeah. The reinvention of Jesus, it's almost like he could he could be, Jesus a surfer guy. Exactly. Your buddy, exactly. Jesus, you know. Yeah. I, I think it was L.A. Times. I think, uh, yeah, L.A. Times, my, uh, I think... Uh, um, a couple days ago. Boucher, I think it was the name Something of Something like that, yeah. Someone who wrote... So that would be good, good material for you.